right, so we're gonna go out here and check the beehive right quick. Uh, it's been rainy, and uh, today's Saturday, May 30th. I checked them on Monday because of all the rain. Uh, they had plenty of pollen and honey stored because I was wondering if I needed to feed them. So we're gonna take a look right quick, check some frames. And they love this field. I've got hairy vetch, which is a purple. It's really pretty. Uh, yeah, there they are. Going to work. And they're out. They are out buzzing around. This is great. Wow. The bumblebees are out. My honeybees are out. So I've got a hairy vetch in here, and I've got crimson clover. And uh, the clover looks like it's all about done. That's this brown stuff here. It's about done. The vetch is getting close to being done. So, uh, and then I've got white clover. It's just natural. I planted all this. So the white clover is natural in, for this field. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of, uh, I planted about 60,000 wildflowers uh, on down the north end of the field. So we'll walk over here. I'll put on my veil, I'll crack it open, take a look, and uh, check them out. All right, so this is my my Amazon $25 bee suit. I got pants too, but I don't wear them. Um, hey bees, morning. You guys are doing well. Coming up here to check on you. I'm gonna open up the hive and uh, kind of see what we got going on. See if you need anything from me. Um, if not, I'll leave you alone and be on my way. It's a nice day, so it should be a productive day. And I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you letting me come over here and hang out and uh, check on you guys. I know it sounds super silly, but usually what I'll do is I like to come up here and talk to the bees. Um, I, you know, I believe that they know my scent uh, and possibly even my sound. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And uh, I like to play Braveheart or Last Mohicans. It seems like they like that. And my bees, um, I've worked bees with a couple other people uh, and have, got, have come across some aggressive bees. My bees, I, I've been working bees about a, bee, a month and a half now, so not a long time, but I haven't been stung once. Um, uh, they're, they're pretty docile, pretty cool. So anyway, we'll crack this thing open. I'll take a look. I just want to do a quick inspection. I might move some frames around a little bit and, uh, and then I'll, I'll be done. All right, here we go. Interesting fact. So something I learned I don't know how much truth there is to it, but that bees, you know, why are beekeeper suits white? Well, it's because dark color is represented with threat. Bears, skunks, groundhogs, whatever. Um, yeah, so they're, they're chilling. They're doing pretty good. So that's why you wear white. I don't see any fighting. They're not super aggressive. You know, I'll always have one or two that are kind of ornery. So these frames right here are pretty full. Um, the ones on the ends here are pretty typical. Um, it's not, they got some comb going. They're really working on this one. That's good, kind of filling it out. The issue I'm having is the bottom, bottom frames the, and the brood box in the bottom. It's not really filling up as much as this top one is. As far as uh, brood and stuff, so I may have to make some changes. So here we got some capped brood, looking pretty good. Uh, I'm also gonna kind of try to see if I can see see my queen. Uh, I know I got one because babies are being laid. Nothing on that side, so I'll put that back down in there. Thanks, guys, for letting me look. I'm gonna try to be quick. I don't want to mess with you too bad. There's an ornery one, an angry one, came to my face. And they got the propolis they're building out. They're really, yeah. So they're really, if you look over here, they're really buzzing around a lot. Pretty killer, really. So I've been trying to remind myself to make a habit of not standing in front of, um, of the box. Of the hive. Sorry, got one of them pinching it. Like, here's a mad one right here. He came right to my face. A couple of them more. The 
This one's got some weight to it. Excuse me. Get get in there. I want to lift this frame up here. Um, yeah. Oh wow, there's a the larvae. If you look down in there, a lot of babies. A lot of larvae in there. A little white, looks like, uh, eh, looks like maggots, I guess. <laughs> Pretty cool, so my queen's doing good. Making babies, That's what we like. All that cat brood is looking good. Still looking for my queen, just a quick, um, once over, see if I can find her. She's She's been busy. That's great. And I may actually, so that's baby, so I may take this frame um, and set it to the side. I think I'm going to put it on the bottom, in the bottom box. And uh, I've got a lot of new wax on this one because food goes up top. And babies below typically is what we're after. So this is what we got here. A little bit of symmetry is a little funny on that. Um, I'm not sure. So that's all honey. I got honey in there. It's looking good. Okay. So that's a food one. So I'll take that, the babies, and move them down below. So they're just building this comb out. So that's pollen, the brown. So I'm going to move it to the outside, out here. Check this one out. I think this one's going to have a lot of brood on it. Uh, um, the babies. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, that made them mad. I am so sorry. So sorry. Yeah. A lot of brood there. And you know what? The queen's... There she is. Right there. There's my queen. If I can get something to point with. Um... There she goes. She was right there in the middle. There is she. Yeah, where'd she go? Right there. There's my queen. So she see how she's longer. Um, just lost her again because I'm looking at the camera, making sure you guys can see this. Well, anyway. So the queen's longer, right there, there's my queen, right here, she's uh, doing her thing, checking on her babies. See these are drone cells, the ones that are bulging, these are drone cells, they're a little bit larger and these are just uh, going to be females, um, and I don't see... So I'm going to move this one back on the uh, bottom as well. So I kind of want to be quick about this. So I'll, all right, so there on this one, making some comb, building that out. It's looking good. Okay. So I'm gonna swap, swap these out right quick. Probably what we got here. Guys, I am trying to hurry. So I'll, this is an empty frame, I'll put it up top. Put the 
baby frame right here. Not the smashing my girls, the guys. Here's pretty much an empty frame. So I'll put it up here and I'll drop this one, the brood, down here in the bottom. There we go. And I'll put this one back on top. The thing I hate about taking these things off and moving stuff around is when I squish one. That's stacked up. This frame right in between these two, like so, and we're done. So, I saw my queen, it's all a bunch of brood, so that's good. All right, we're done. Try to keep it quick, slide this over so I don't squish any of them. All right, close that up. All right, so all in all, looking pretty good, I'm happy. Uh, we've got a lot of cat brood, which is the babies. Got to see some larvae, honey, pollen, the whole thing. So we're looking real good, I'm happy. And uh, I love this stuff. It's great. All right. Thanks for riding along with me.